Hello? Hello? Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm a good friend, Bradley, and today is a pleasant Sunday Stuff and Things for the third time. This is my third attempt at recording this video and the third attempt at recording all the videos I was trying to do for the next week. I'm having weird audio issues. I've recorded this several times. Each time I start, I look and make sure that I have audio levels. Everything seems to be fine. Then I record and there's no audio. I think it's my cable. I've ordered a new one. I'm hoping that me kind of twisting and turning and, and, and jury rigging things is going to work for this video. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind because honestly, I have spent so much time trying to get this video done. Um, it is a pleasant Sunday stuff and things. We're gonna go through what we're gonna go through in this episode. Uh, fall is here, that's weird. That just happened out of nowhere. Football season has begun. We're gonna get into that a little bit. Don't worry, just a little bit. We'll have your feedback from the last episode. Uh, we're gonna talk about why we don't have any information from STG on the newly branded Peterson, or former Dunhill blends, newly branded as, as Peterson blends coming out in the USA. Uh, we'll talk about some upcoming videos and then we will get to your questions in hashtag ask stuff and things. But before we do all that, we were going to do a reading from Peter Straub's The Throat. Peter Straub is a viewer of the Stuff and Things channel. He is a Patreon supporter, an award-winning author, and an all-around good guy. And he has given us permission to read from his book, The Throat. It's going to take a very long time to finish, but I think it's well worth the effort. Let us continue now. Uh, where did we end here? Uh, he had just shaken hands with John Ransom. <clears throat> no, I wanted to protest. It's not me, because I finally understood. Every year, Holy Sepulchre sent out flyers about the Christian Athletes Fellowship Dinner to every high school in the city. And not only was John Ransom the first Brooks Lowood student who had ever come, he was the only student from the entire East Side who had ever been interested enough to attend the football supper. That was the point. He was interested. The other boys were already up in the church vestibule by the time John Ransom and I reached the bottom of the stairs. I could hear them laughing about Mr. Schoonhaven. Then I heard the voice of Bill Byrne, who weighed nearly 300 pounds and was the Bluebird's center, saying something about a dork tourist. And then, even more horribly, some east side... Oh! Oh boy! Okay, sorry, Peter. I'm gonna have to censor your book a little bit here because God knows YouTube will be annoyed. Some east side F who showed up, and I don't mean uh, the sexual... Well, it's, it's a derogatory term for uh, a homosexual. Some east side F who showed up to suck under her, Underhill's D. There was a burst of dirty laughter. It was just aimless, all-purpose hostility, but I almost literally prayed that John Ransom had not heard it. I didn't think a well-dressed, handshaking boy like John Ransom would enjoy being called a pervert, a fairy, a Q, a sea sucker. But because I had heard it, he had too, and from the hiss of indrawn breath behind me, so had Father Vitali. John Ransom surprised me by laughing out loud. Uh, and I think that's where we'll end. We'll pick it up with Father Vitali's response coming up in a bit. Next week, in fact. Thank you again. Peter for allowing us to read from this book. Um, all right, but let's get into things here. We've got some topics to discuss. First of all, you know I was on vacation for a week. We left in early September, and when we left, it was summer. It was hot, uh, it was sunny. We had just been, you know, we'd been going swimming, going out to the lake and everything. And obviously in Hawaii, it was very hot. It was like 92 degrees every day. The day we returned, it was suddenly like 56 and torrential downpour. And then since I've been back, it's been in the 60s, it's been overcast, it's been windy, it's been rainy. It's always, it's just like a light switch every single year, it seems. Of course, I love the fall. I love it when the weather changes, and I think fall and spring are my favorite seasons. My fiance is a little irritated by the change, and I feel slightly guilty that I'm appreciating it so much. I love, like, wearing sweaters and wearing coats and things like that. I like a little chill in the air. Um, she's pretty irritated by it, but one thing that fall does mean is that football season is back. I haven't really been able to talk about the Seahawks at all. Um, I know for some of you that is anathema. You hate it when I talk about football, but the Seahawks are 2-1. and one. They barely eked by a win in their first game. Uh, they fairly handily, 
they fairly easily handled the Steelers in the second game and then just played horribly in their third game against the Saints. They should have been able to beat them, I think, fairly easily, but they just collapsed. And so, uh, I don't know. It's kind of the same thing it seems like we always have in September where I don't know what they're going to be or how they're going to do. There are some good signs, there are some bad signs, and uh, it's just sort of a wait and see kind of attitude. They're playing the Cardinals today. That should be easy. That should be a, an, an, a, a simple win, but I don't know. I don't want to take anything for granted. We'll come back in December and we'll see where, where they're at, or maybe in November when I can have a better idea of how they're actually going to perform. But Russell Wilson's been playing great. Uh, Offensive line, eh, Chris Carson, eh, the running back. He's been fumbling like a maniac, and he just didn't look very good in the last game. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens there with the Seahawks. Next, you guys were so generous and so nice with your congratulations last week, uh, after last week's episode, when I announced that my girlfriend was no longer my girlfriend. She is now my fiance. It's obviously really big news for me, and it's something that I wanted you guys to know because the weird thing that sometimes I forget, but I'm always reminded of, is the fact that we've been doing this for five years now, over five years, and many of you have been on this channel or watching this channel for that entire time. And I forget sometimes that we're kind of friends in a weird way, in like an internet sort of couple degrees of separation kind of way. but there's still a relationship there and I need to, or I'm reminded of that all the time when I see these really, really kind messages that you guys send. And I remember like, oh yeah, they're kind of involved in my life. I'm kind of involved in your life. And it makes total sense that I would announce something like that on the channel. I try not to get too super into my personal life and things like that, but obviously this is a major, major life change for me. And so it was really cool to put that out there and to see just how nice and generous all of you are with your congratulations. It was very cool. So thank you for that. By the way, in this episode, I'm enjoying a little bit of uh, GLP Stratford in my beautiful little Costello. <clears throat> and that's a good segue because I'm enjoying Stratford because I can't enjoy Elizabethan because Elizabethan was taken off the market. And we've had all this information coming out about STG buying the rights to those Dunhill blends and how they were going to re-release them. We've gotten a lot of information, a lot of little hints, a lot of things dropping about them re-releasing those blends in Europe. But for the US market, nothing. And <coughs> I'm choking. Sorry about that. Every week, before I do the Sunday stuff and things, I go on the forums, I go on Google, I, tr I do news searches, I do all sorts of searches trying to find information that is, uh, I guess, verifiable stuff that comes directly from STG about them eventually releasing these blends. I think there are six blends that they're talking about right now in the US, and every week I'm disappointed. I haven't found anything concrete yet, and it's sort of driving me crazy. I have written to STG, I think five times now, uh, different people that I've tried to find on their website, different contacts who may actually reply. I have yet to receive a reply from anyone at STG. It's kind of driving me mad. Um, I want to know. And the fact that we don't have any information about a US release when they're already rolling out the European release is making me really think that I, it's not happening. I'm really starting to believe that they don't have plans to release those blends in the US. And that's kind of crazy to me because no matter how egregious the fees that you may have to pay the FDA are to release blends here, and I know some people say, oh, well, they won't have to because those blends are grandfathered in, but they're not. It's a new brand. I'm fairly convinced that they will have to pay the fees because they've been off the market, they haven't continuously been on the market, and it's a new brand. It may be the same recipes, it may be the same manufacturer, but I think they will have to pay those fees to the FDA. And I still think that the US market is probably the largest pipe hobbyist market in the world, I would think, um, maybe not counting China. And I would think it would be worth it to pay those fees for a company as large as STG. So 
I just, I don't know what's happening. And I'm really getting worried now that we haven't heard a single hint that they're coming to the US, as far as I know. And I've been searching very, very wide. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna keep checking. It just sucks that the only news I have is that there's no news. If you guys have any information, and I mean like real information, where you have something from STG that points to a US release, let me know in the comments because uh, I'm quite curious. Now, upcoming videos. On this channel, you can look forward to some vloggy type videos. I've been working on editing some videos together from our trip to Hawaii, and I'm going to start posting some of those. I also have some other things that I'm gonna be reviewing coming up on the channel, um, and I will appraise you of those or apprise you of those. I will tell you about those when we're getting closer to those releasing. We also have a new series starting. Well, it's a continuation of an old series. We finished up the Stuff and Things Reads The Stranger series, and even though I don't get very many views on those at all, enough people wrote to let me know that they would like to see that series continue, that I have decided we're gonna start up a new book, or actually a new short story. It is Stuff and Things Reads, uh, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, A Scandal in Bohemia. I started that, that will be posting this Friday, the first episode in that series. And obviously it's a shorter uh, story, so it's probably only gonna be a few episodes long but we may go into other Sherlock Holmes stories. If you guys have any other requests for books that are in the public domain, that is very important, let me know in the comments, maybe for that video, the video that posts this Friday, if you have any other requests for books that you would like me to read on that series. I wanna keep going for a while, see if it can build into something. And there are enough people right now um, who say they enjoy it that I'd like to continue. And then on Stuff and Things Plays, we are still doing Minecraft videos, and there are gonna be some really crazy ones coming up this week. Uh, I really suggest you watch. I think on Monday and Friday are the Minecraft videos, and there's gonna be some good ones. And then uh, Sekiro is continuing. It just keeps going. I thought it was close to the end, but I think there's still quite a bit more. It's getting crazier and crazier. So stay tuned for that as well. But now, it is time for your questions in the section of the show we like to call hashtag ask stuff and things. Remember, if you have a question for me and you would like it answered on the Sunday Stuff and Things, tweet at SAT Bradley with the hashtag ask stuff and things and I will do my best to answer. Also, if you are a Patreon supporter, you can ask me questions on Patreon as well. Um, and really, I, I highly, 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 highly suggest that you ask me questions because it's a huge part of the show. It's a really important part of the show and I really appreciate it. So first, from Patreon, we have Dr. Dre. He says Bradley voice, so <clears throat> I guess that's my voice. Hey Bradley, congrats on your engagement. Thank you, Dr. Dre. To celebrate this or any other major event, do you enjoy any particular blend that you save for special occasions, or do you stay with your regular, regular scheduled programming? Speaking of special blends, have you ever had Frog Morton's Across the Pond? It doesn't seem to get nearly as many mentions as FM's Cellar, but I really felt it stood out with its Syrian Latakia component. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Dr. Dre. Um, I haven't ever really done that, using a, cracking open a, a tin of something special to celebrate a special event. I guess... I mean, I guess I've done that with like, oh, let's get a, a bottle of champagne or something. But as far as a, a pipe blend, no. I do have some special things put away. I have some Penzance put away. I have some old Elizabethan put away. But no, I guess because if I'm celebrating a special event, it's usually with somebody else. And that person usually is not a person who is also going to want to, to, to enjoy that pipe blend with me. So that's probably the reason. But uh, it's an interesting point. Uh, from Twitter, we have a question from Philip asks Bradley, and we'll keep doing that. Sorry, Bradley, at asks Philip, uh, and he requests a Romanian accent. I can't think of Romanian accent. I mean, I can think of Dracula. That's pretty much the only thing I could think of when I think of a Rom Romanian accent, and I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, we'll just we'll just do something. We'll see what happens. Uh, hello, Bradley. I'm very happy for your engagement. Congratulations. I enjoyed your last Sunday stuff and things and was intrigued by the fact that none of the questions were about the Peterson Dunhills. Did you hear about the release of the Peterson Dunhills in Europe? They are now available at... Uh, he has puts a link here. And it's weird because they are only available there and not on the other European pipe-selling websites. What do you think? No Elizabethan yet, though. 
Uh, so that was a Romanian accent, gang. There you go. Uh, we kind of covered this already when I was talking about how we haven't gotten any more information about these STG Peterson blends coming to the U.S. And yeah, I've been seeing information showing that they are releasing in Europe or are about to imminently release in Europe or eminently, imminently, um, very soon releasing in Europe. And we haven't gotten any information like that about the U.S. market. So I don't know. Next, we have a question from... I think it's sort of like Leet Speak version of Brian, uh, 8R14N, Brian, at seeds underscore of underscore weeds. Brian says, <clears throat> There's some good news for the weekend. As a coffee drinker as well as a pipe hobbyist, it may interest you to know that recent evidence cited in consumer reports strongly indicates that drinking coffee is associated with a reduction in the incidence of oral cancers. Um, yeah, I, you hear stuff about coffee all the time and caffeine all the time. I remember when I was a kid, people were like, coffee, evil, caffeine, evil. A bunch of people drunk, drunk decaf back in the day. And now I guess the research indicates that caffeine is great in moderate amounts, just like almost everything. Uh, a glass of wine a day, red wine is great. A whole bottle is not. So I would assume a few cups of coffee a day are great. An entire urn of a day is not. I've always enjoyed coffee. Thank you for, for the train break there. Uh, we're not going to take an actual break. I have always enjoyed coffee. I have at least one to two cups a day. And from what I've read and from what I am see what I've seen, there, there are all sorts of claims about it, preventing Alzheimer's, preventing all sorts of different kinds of cancer. Great, because I'm not going to stop drinking coffee. Um, and none of this information is going to make me drink more or drink less. It's just something that I, I like. Next, we have a question from Lazy Lazenby Productions at Lazy underscore Lazenby. I wonder if you could do a video, perhaps in the Guide to series, about how to deoxidize a vulcanite stem. I'm finding that a few of my pipes, which once had black stems, are now dark green. Most annoying. Thank you kindly. Uh, yeah, that's a video I should do at some point, because some of my stems are getting really nasty too. And I've really started to appreciate the acrylic stems on the Costellos. I used to be kind of against that. I always wanted vulcanite, but yeah, the vulcanite oxidizes. It gets really gross. You get that yellowy, greeny residue over there. Um, I, I'm obviously not going to produce a video out of thin air right now, but I will say that the only real effective method that I have ever found to clean that off is to use in a super fine grit sandpaper and actually just remove that. Um, you have to be very careful that you're not going to remove a bunch of material from the stem and soften out the the sharper edges on your button things like that uh, but basically i use a very very fine grit wet sandpaper and then i use a buffing wheel or a polishing compound uh, to finish it off but maybe we'll do a video on that soon so thanks for the question gang remember write in at sat bradley on twitter with the hashtag ask stuff and things your questions help this show go but now it's time for the very best part of the show, the time where I thank our $25 and up patron, patrons, the people who support the show on Patreon. They support this channel and Stuff and Things Plays on Patreon. And if you do $25 or up, you are entitled to a special shout out every week. I made a big mistake last week um, that I would like to correct. Adam Loveless was a $25 supporter and is also very generous, has sent some amazing things to me to show to you. And he had gone up to Maniac Tier last month, and I forgot to mention him, or I guess it was for this month that's ending now, and I forgot to mention that in the last Sunday Stuff and Things, so I'm going to correct that now. Um, but let's start with our good friend and supporter, someone we would like to thank very much, or all these people who would like we would like to thank very much, Glenn. Derek, Cody Striegler, Nathaniel Hills, Kirk Crompton, Private Eye, C.W. Piperman, Garrett, Ryan McFadden, Corbin Borben, M.D. of the North, Robert Veneris, Ryan Stopper, John M. Parrish, and Gus, formerly Check Engine, now I believe I love Gong's all-around good guy. Thank you all so much for being $25 supporters on Patreon. And now we have the maniac tier, the crazy people, the weirdos who support the channel at $100 or more, or $100 a month, and they are entitled to a Skype conversation with me every three months. 
I don't know why they would want to do that, but you know, it's, it's part of the tier, it's part of the reward for that tier. We have Peter Straub, all around great guy, award-winning author. I just had a conversation with him last weekend. It was quite enjoyable. We have Bob McGee, solid, dependable, stolid Bob McGee. And we have our very good friend, Adam Loveless. So sorry, so very sorry for forgetting you last week. I had you in the $25 tier, but I did not have you in the Maniac tier. So thank you very, very much. Well, gang, I've recorded this whole thing and I'm hoping that it actually recorded the audio. I guess I will find out when I go to edit it. Uh, it seemed okay. If it didn't record, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. But until next time, watch all the stuff, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And until next time, until we meet again, I've been your good friend Bradley, you've been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things on a pleasant Sunday Stuff and Things. I'll see you later. <laughs>